Hello everybody, welcome to this webinar, Carry Connect 9.2, what's new overview. I'm Carsten Maas, I'm technical marketing engineer at Carrier Technologies. Um, with me today is again our vice president of product and design, uh, Heather Ponet, and she will be the presenter for today and will show you what exciting new things we have now in Carrier Connect 9.2. And Heather, it's up to you. Great, thank you for the introduction, Carsten. So yes, we released Curio Connect 9.2 just a couple of weeks ago. And uh, so I've got an overview to tell you about all the new things that we've added into it. So let's get started on that. Um, one housekeeping thing we didn't say yet, if you do have questions, Carsten has kindly offered to answer those while we go through the presentation. So if you want to enter things into the Q&A, please do so. And then at the end of the presentation, we'll take a little bit of time to run through the questions and see if there's any that haven't we haven't answered. If there's any that we don't know the answers to, we will likely follow up with you afterwards on those. So what we're going to do today, I do see some names that I don't recognize in our participants. So I will do an overview of Curio Connect um, for those who know very well what it is. It won't be an in-depth overview, but it will be enough to introduce the product and, and say essentially what it does. Then we're going to get right into what are the things that are new and different in Curio Connect 9.2. And I'll drill down into a few of those features and then give a summary at the end. So it's quite short and sweet. It's meant to highlight the things that are new and show some of them as well so that they could become more tangible and visible. In the coming months, we'll be doing some more in-depth video, across, uh, some more in-depth webinars across all of our products, and we may drill down even more into certain features from this release. So introduction about why we have the products that we do. So for our small businesses that we all support, running a business has its own challenges. And one of the challenges is being able to find the people that you want to connect and communicate with. So we often get into a situation where we play phone tag with people, where we send somebody an email and they don't read their email for a while, or we send them a chat message and um, they're not using that at the particular time. So um, the amount of time we can spend trying to find somebody ends up being pretty significant. Um, and products like the one I'm telling you about today are trying to solve that kind of problem and make it easier to find people in general. So knowing that people are available, having some kind of presence status about them um, is very key to doing that. Knowing somebody is online or offline will help make the decision, should I send an offline kind type of communications? Or if something is quite urgent to me, can I call the person? Can I send them an instant message instead so that I can get a more immediate response to what I'm looking for? So there are many choices to make when you communicate with somebody. How do you decide what is the best way to communicate with somebody? Does it make more sense to use email? Does it make more sense to send a chat? Does it make more sense to call them? Um, the things that we'll be doing throughout our products are going to make this a whole lot easier over time. And then absolutely essential is making sure that when you run a business, um, the business assets are safe and secure. So things about people, things about the business as well. We always want to make sure that they are safe and secure. So the idea with what we provide from Curio is that we make it easy to do that. We make it easy from the user perspective to decide how to communicate with people and give them the ability to communicate in different ways. Uh, but also from our partner side, this gentleman here is a happy partner. So he works with Curio and a quote from him, he was very happy with our Curio Connect product. He found that um, it was easy to set up, everything was easy to configure. And for his actual end users, he found it worked very well on different kinds of clients, whether they were desktop clients or mobile clients. And Curio has three different types of product lines. 
Uh, we have our messaging product, which is essentially email and instant messaging. We have our voice video product, which gives the ability to um, replace a PBX system with a voice over IP system. So we provide telephony. And we also provide security as well. So three essential ingredients that any small business uses. Hero will provide all three of these. And there are integration points between them. Um, and there are things that you'll see as we go through this um, slide deck that show you what integration points we have at the moment. And that we'll be doing more in the future to let you know about uh, how these products all work together. Today, we're here to talk about Curio Connect, though. So, Curio Connect is a mature product. It's been around for about 14 years. It started off as really an email server to replace Microsoft Exchange. Today, it's essentially a secure communications platform specifically targeted for small, medium businesses whilst providing enterprise class features. It's a full email system that could be used where Microsoft Exchange might be used. And it provides essential features. It's a, it has a fully featured email client for our end users, so that can be used instead of Microsoft Outlook. And we allow users as well to pick their client of choice. It's a product that can be um, cloud. It can be deployed in the cloud. It can be hosted by our partners, or it can be deployed on premises. It's also fully secure. It's secure in the way that all the Curio Connect services are secured and encrypted. And it provides the ability for users at their level to further digitally sign and encrypt messages. And it has the ability to stop viruses being sent through email and reduce the amount of spam that gets into your inbox. It's very mobile friendly. It keeps up to date with messages, notifications, and contacts by synchronizing. Uh, with mobile clients, so our end users can see their messages and keep up to date on their iPhones and iOS, uh, Android devices as well. So it provides email, it provides presence status, the ability to see if somebody's online, offline, or perhaps in do not disturb mode. It provides the ability to chat as well in the same clients or using another client that is XMPP based as well. Um, and it has calendaring and it also has task management as well. So to highlight some of the things here, it can be used with our own desktop application that I'm going to show you a little bit more about in a moment. So we have a Curio Connect client available for Microsoft Windows and Mac. It also works with other email desktop applications such as Microsoft Outlook and there's many out there that are available too. Uh, fully secure. Users are kept secure with all the services being uh, secured and encrypted. Uh, we use SSL encryption and our users can digitally sign and encrypt their messages too. And it works with all those different mobile devices and applications as well. And I have a new mobile app to tell you about and show you a little bit about later. And it's built absolutely with our partners in mind. So we keep it simple, simple to install, simple to use, simple to maintain. It's very stable. We have a good reputation that our services stay working. There's very, very minimal downtime and uh, secure. And Curio Connect also integrates with enterprise class telephony. So we provide the ability for our end users to go from an email or um, using Curio Connect client to do click to call through their desk phone. You can do that with Curio Connect. But we also have with our Curio operator product, which is essentially our telephony system, we also have a client that is essentially a soft phone. So you can make voice and video calls right from your desktop using a desktop client alongside your email client that hooks very nicely into your telephony system. So it lets you make and receive internal calls, but also external calls as well. Curio Connect can be deployed in the cloud. We have a couple of different options for that. We have a business plan and a business pro plan. 
It can be hosted by our partners, and we have many partners that host Curio Connect for their customers. And it can also be set up on premise at the customer site as well. So flexible deployment options that meet the needs of what our partners would like to do and also meet the needs of what the customers need. So new features in Kerio Connect. We did a lot of work with the end user in mind for Kerio Connect on the 9.2 version. So we have new desktop applications. We have um, an application for Windows. We have an application for Mac. And these essentially give the full email, calendaring, chat functionality that used to be part of our web client only. It's now a desktop application, and I'll show a little bit more about that. And we continue to improve. We added a few enhancements, making contact, mail, chat, calendaring a little bit nicer, a little bit easier to use as we continue to do as we come out with new releases. Other new features that we have, we now have the ability to manage all deployments of Curio Connect from MyCurio, which is our cloud-based management tool. So for partners that have multiple partners, instead of having to go to one URL for each partner, now it's possible to go to one place and then look at all the different deployments that, are, um, that a partner is looking after and manage them directly from my Curio. And I'll show how that works a little bit more. We did some updates for spam filtering, which I will mention more about shortly. And for mobile devices, we have nice integration with a very nice mobile app. It's a smart mail app um, from a company named Riaddle, and the application is Spark. Um, very nice smart mail. It organizes email so that it highlights the things that need your attention and doesn't highlight quite as much the things that you may not need to look at immediately. So we'll take a look at that too. Uh, we did better synchronization of email and contacts across mobile devices. And we have a new Android app which can be used for monitoring deployments um, that are using MyCurio. So the Android app can monitor deployments of Curio Connect, but also our other products as well. So you can see the status of all different Curio de uh, deployments from one Android application. So we'll start off looking at the desktop applications. So we had had a fully featured client before, um, and it was a web-based client. But now we have a fully featured desktop application. And turning it into a fully featured desktop application has a fair few advantages for our end users. So um, it has a persistent login. You don't need to log in all the time, as you often need to do with a web page. It updates automatically. So for our end users, it's a they are, they are always using the latest version of the client. And when an update is available, that's not tied to the server. It's pushed out from Curio. And for the end user, um, to them, it feels essentially like they close the client and they reopen it and it's updated. It's really that quick. So it keeps them always on the latest version. It's very easy to set up. It uses auto discovery with SRV records. So the first time that a user logs in, the only things they need to enter if SRV records are set up nicely is their email and their password. So we want to make life as easy for our end users as possible. So not having them enter a server address is much easier for them. Everybody knows what their email address is. Everybody has to ask their administrator what their server address is. So if SRV records are nicely set up, for our end users, enter the email address, enter the password, and uh, it's good to go. And other advantages of being a native desktop application are we get some of the we get some of the features that come with it being a desktop application. So, for example, the ability to add emojis into emails and into chat messages, the ability to do um, speech to text, and notifications as well. Um, uh, doc notifications to show when new messages have been received. So 
So a little bit more about that. So it runs on the Mac. Um, so it puts down on the bottom of the screen an icon for Curio Connect at the bottom. It's very easy to install. On the Mac, it's essentially a drag and drop to the applications folder, and it can be set as the default email application. And here's a note on what operating systems it runs on. So it requires Mac OS um, 10.11, which is El Capitan or later. And then it's also available on Windows. For Windows, it's also very easy to install. And it has an icon that goes down on the system tray at the bottom. It, um, it can take care of mail to and send to for easy ability to send and receive emails from the Windows platform. And it has notifications that appear on the Connect badge. If you look at the Connect badge, hopefully you can see where I move my cursor a little bit. If there are messages that have not been received, it places a red badge on that icon to draw attention to it when the application is not open. And when new notifications come in, it will um, use the Windows notifications. Let me show you on the next slide. So notifications come in from Curio Connect into Windows notifications. Uh, so very, very easy to see. Very well integrated into the desktop for notifications. So when it's time to update, um, this is essentially what the end user will see. So there's a new version available. What we don't want to do is shut the application down when they're in the middle of doing something. So we do post a banner at the top so that they can see there's a new version available. Um, the blue button there, it says update now. And what will happen if I press that button is that it will close down, it will feel like it just reopens and then it will be up, de up to date and ready to use again. So it's very, very quick to have the new version and that's pushed out to everybody at the same time so that our end users are always up to date. I mentioned that we have um, integration with an application called Spark from a company called Riadal. So this is a smart email app that runs very nicely on iOS devices. So on an iPhone, on a tablet, and it's a very nice application that organizes email for you, tries to make email very manageable and very easy to go through on a mobile device. And there's also an Apple Watch app too, so that notifications can be received on, um, on, on a watch when perhaps the phone is in our user's pocket there. So a very nice application. When using this Spark application, what um, Riadal have done for us here is they've added a Curio profile to it. So the very first time that a user uses the Spark mail application, it will be just as I described for setting up the desktop client. The user who's setting it up will need to enter just their email address and their password, and then everything else will be taken care of. It will look up via SRV records, um, and then the account will be correctly set up on the device. So very, very easy to use. And when an end user first tries to use it, there'll be a big, clear Curio profile that they can choose to get that set up. And we have added the ability to manage Curio Connect deployments from MyCurio, which is our cloud-based management system. So on the left here, this is MyCurio um, using it from a desktop, um, from a desktop using it from, from Mac, using it from Windows. Um, and what we can see on the screen here is all the different deployments that um, if I'm a partner, I may have. So, I may have a few control deployments, a few Curio Connect deployments, a few Curio Operator deployments. So I can see all of them from here. And the idea is that it's one snapshot of everything that I have for my customers. And it's very easy to go from this snapshot to the administration interface of any of those things without having to remember URLs, bookmark lots of different addresses, for example. Um, it will 
pop up on the main screen here any notifications that are important. So if uh, one of the deployments needs an upgrade or if something has gone wrong, there's one easy snapshot that can show what's going on with all those different deployments. And then for mobile devices, we have the ability to um, monitor and get notifications about the deployments from uh, a phone as well. So all different deployments will show up in a very similar list on an iOS device. If there's anything that uh, needs bringing to our partner's attention, it will show up in this little dashboard that you can see on the right hand side. And we have the ability to do that also from Android as well. So monitoring notifications when mobile for iOS devices, for Android devices, and for our iOS folk who have an Apple Watch as well, there's an app that runs on the Apple Watch that also gives alerts, makes the phone vibrate, pops up messages, if anything needs drawing attention to while out and about. Now for anti-spam, um, I thought we'd do a little bit of history on this before I say what's new with it. So earlier this year, we released Curio Connect version 9.02, and that did an update of um, spam filtering as it comes out of the box with Curio Connect. So we used the technology of a company called Spam Assassin to help us um, with spam filtering within Curio Connect. So we did some updates to that at the beginning of the year. And then later in the year, we added a new extension to Curio Connect, which uses additional technology, this time partnering with a company called Bitdefender. Um, and the idea of the extension is that it can do essentially out of the box what you could do with what we provided with Curio Connect 9.02. So the extension makes it a lot easier without having to study how spam works and how our attackers may be trying to get to us and all the different techniques they may use to try and infiltrate our email systems. So it's very easy to set up, requires a lot less technical know-how, um, and <clears throat> it was an additional filter that we introduced um, in our 9.03 release. So what we have done now is, is we've allowed the ability to use these two more together. So when we first introduced Curio Connect 9.03, um, our partners had to choose whether they wanted to use Bayes and classification or just use the abilities of uh, what we had in our extension. So now uh, we can use both of them together. So it combines the ease of use but also with the custom learning that you get from Bayesian classification as well. And uh, actually, before I move on there, I will also mention that in addition to being able to use both together, so layering them on top of each other, it also allows the use of the spam and not spam buttons that the end user can use to control spam and help classify it. So synchronization of contacts and email. So we did some updates to make sure that uh, contacts and email get synchronized in near real, real time for iOS devices. So now this is a snapshot of, of uh, synchronization that happens across mobile devices. So email inbox synchronization for iOS devices. Contacts are synchronized across iOS and uh, Mac OS as well and calendar synchronization happens in near real time for iOS, for Mac OS, and also for Curio Connect Sync on Android as well. And some of the maybe smaller, more minor features I would like to point out. So some of the things that we've done for the Curio Connect client to make it easier to use, to fill in things that we had some feedback that people would like to see. So we have the ability to import vCard attachments. So uh, that makes life a little bit easier. 
Um, other things that seem simple but uh, very important sometimes, so the to and the CC field are now visible in the preview of an email message. So little things that just make it nicer, uh, make it make people less likely to have to dig around for information. So a few little enhancements like that. For chat over on the left hand side, uh, we've added the ability to do a new line with control plus enter or shift plus enter. So just making it easier to send chat messages using um, ways that people feel used to um, and functionality that they expect. And then when setting up a meeting and checking somebody's free busy time, um, the little, there's a, a little icon that shows if somebody is free or busy or not. And whilst Curio Connect goes off and checks whether that person is free or busy, we now make that spin around so that we indicate to the end user that Curio Connect is doing something. So uh, when I tested that, it was a little too quick to be able to show it in spinning mode. But if for any reason it takes a long time, it does spin and that lets the user know that something is going on. Um, we have made it more obvious when a message is high priority. So put a nice badge on that with exclamation, made it uh, a little bigger as well. So attention is drawn to messages when it needs to be. If something's high priority, we make sure that that is uh, fully visible. And when composing a message, when adding somebody's name into the to field, we now show this photo of the person if we can resolve it so that it's just a nicer experience. It, it feels better, it's brighter, it shows people Thinking about people rather than their email address is a lot nicer. So a little nice enhancement for when an email message is being composed. And here's some system requirements just to keep in mind. So we added support for Mac OS Sierra, and that applies to both the client and the server. Um, Take note of also what we discontinued. So we discontinued support for Internet Explorer 10 and also for um, Hypervisor 5 as well. And so that's really a summary of all the functionality. So really to summarize about Curio Connect 9.2, we are, we are really trying to help people to be able to find each other and communicate. Um, collaborate efficiently, giving them desktop applications, which are a lot easier to use than we've um, had with our applications based on web before. So we've also made it much easier for people to stay connected when they're mobile with the introduction of um, a nice, easy to use profile to set up the Spark app from Readle. And you can now monitor and manage deployments of all Curio products from MyCurio, which is our cloud-based management system. So making life easier for our end users, but also making life easier for our partners as well. And uh, that's everything I have to share with you today. So thank you for coming along and listening to what's new in Curio Connect. I, I hope you've maybe tried it already in beta or not in beta. If you haven't tried the clients yet, um, please take a look at them, see if they're a good fit for your customers. Uh, we think you'll like them. We're very pleased with how those are turning out and there'll be more to come in the coming months about those.